Buckle up, we're taking you on a roller coaster ride in this month's big idea. Arthur Chien goes behind the scenes to show us the cutting edge technology that creates the thrills at Six Flags. Why do we do this to ourselves? Sometimes I just don't know. For a pastime we all know how to enjoy that scares the heck out of us, we certainly put a lot of trust in the hands of a process we know little about. Trusting guys like Michael writes, who is he you ask? You really ought to know. We like him despite what he put us through. I don't like you! I don't like you at all! We're going to come back to my composed moment in just a bit. As for Wrights, he's an engineer at Six Flags and its 18 theme parks, somewhat of an Imagineer part of an outstanding team that comes up with an idea for a ride like King Ka at Great Adventure in New Jersey and then makes it happen, only it's a little more complicated than that. No matter what the ride is, the process is kind of similar. There's the conceptual side of it and whoever's involved on that end, there's the creation of what we want the ride to be. So while you're feeling this, Michael has spent countless hours thinking this. Hydraulic fluid drives motors, drives winch, pulls cable, pushes train. Wrights showed us this process, taking Fox 5 into restricted area after restricted area. Nobody ever gets to see this. No, you don't, nobody can come in here when it's running. And in a room outsiders simply don't get to see. The brain of King Daka, built to be the tallest ride in the world and the fastest. To get you to the top, it's got to go from zero to 128 miles per hour in three and a half seconds. It all begins here. Well, what you see here in front of you is a big reservoir for hydraulic fluid. That hydraulic fluid gets pumped by these motors into these accumulator tanks. These over here are accumulator tanks? That's they look right. like torpedo shafts. That, that's right. Uh -huh. and, and they're backed by nitrogen pressure. Like a super soaker, hydraulic pressure builds up, nitrogen pressure is added from the missile tubes, and once released, thousands of horsepower pour on to drive the big wheel, or they call it a wench, which pulls the double cables up top. That pulls the metal slat seen here on the tracks, called a car, and it launches you on the train, so you can lose your mind. This is such an expensive process, I'm never going to complain about the cost of a ticket ever again. <laughs> Not only has the launch of the ride evolved, but the way it stops. Would it comfort you to know that none of these rides has brake pads? Not even the tallest drop in the world, called Zumanjaro, where you're going 90 miles per hour by the end of a 415 foot drop. But Michael's not worried because he's got you sitting on magnets. What other additional braking power do you need besides that? Nothing. The final ride we learned about, El Toro, built to look like an old wooden roller coaster. It's a visual trick. A Toro's technology is state of the art. You'll notice how fast we're going up. Yeah. This, this thing hauls up to the top. And it's so, so smooth. Yeah, super smooth. Wait Sitting in the back, I thought we were just going for a nice ride. A little quality chat to wrap up a day with Michael. What's your policy on hands up or hands down? Hands up. You'll see a lot of people up in front of us putting their hands up, too. It's a good ab workout. Go. You're, 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 you're ready? Oh, my God! I forgot whatever it was I was thinking, which led to the moment. I don't like you! <laughs> I kid, of course. We really like Michael, something I only decided I would admit a little bit later. Legs wobbly, I looked to regain my pride. I love you, Mom. <laughs> and I won't do this again next year. By accepting Michael's challenge to take the Zoom and Jaro drop, check out Michael's feet going up, kicking away like a kid waiting for dessert while I gave myself a pep talk. I'm going to try to be cool. I'm going to try to be cool. You ready? Come on! I think I gotta go get my throat. Where's my throat? Dedicating a life to pushing the limits of imagination, physics, and engineering to deliver to you a thrilling, safe human experience. The best part of this job is watching the people. It's so rewarding when you see somebody coming off of a ride, screaming, yelling, giving high fives to each other. That, that, that's, that's the best. We can only imagine what he's got in store for his next big idea. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.